All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about the melee weapons in the final. So uh, I posted a video before about how bad the knife was, but I believe just today they actually updated the knife. So I'll, I'll post the before patch and you can see how bad the knife is and I'll post the after patch so you guys can see how much more consistent it is. What is going on? Fucking knife him, dude. What is this? I did it. Oh my god, I did it. I did, I killed him. Okay, as you guys can see, it's a little bit more consistent, but the difference between all three of them is something we're gonna be talking about today. So the first, we're gonna be talking about the knife. So the knife, you could do a one-shot headshot in the back here. Um, so it's really great for getting executions off of people. Um, but the thing is, it I believe it takes three hits. Yeah, so it takes three hits to finally kill somebody if you're not hitting any headshots. Um, but the thing about the knife is even though they patched it, the hitbox for the knife is still very small. So if I'm standing in the middle here and I'm like stabbing away, I'm not hitting anybody. But if we switch over to the sword, you're going to see what makes that sword better than the knife. Okay, so here we have the sword and I'm standing in between both of them again. But with the sword, because it is a longer sword, I guess there's a bigger hitbox. Um, but when I swing, I'm actually able to hit both these people at the same time, the dummies. And it also takes four hits to kill one person. Also, these dummies right here, they're actually light characters. Um, I believe that one in the back there is a medium and that one's a heavy. But then as you can see, with the sword, we do not get the one shot headshot to the back of the head. Um, and I think it looks about the same amount of damage too. If we're just doing like a... Oh. It's time to see what events will try to knock okay. out contestants. But yeah, so it does like game. about the same amount of damage if you're trying to hit headshots. So I would definitely recommend just like swing away. But the issue with the sword is you don't actually unlock it until later on into like your levels. Okay, and then here we have the heavy. All right, so the heavy here with the sledgehammer. Um, it's this. This is freaking a heavy hitter, man. So when I swing at these two dummies and I'm standing about in the middle as best as I can because I am a bigger hitbox now. But here you see it's one hit is like half health on the, the, the lights, okay? And all you really need is just like two hits and they're both dead. But the thing about this hitbox too is it's actually, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, so it goes left and right, if you can see there. I'm standing a little bit closer to them, and it's it kind of goes in a left and right motion. So you gotta make sure when you're fighting that you're paying attention to your swings. But out of these three, I have to say, I think even though the hammer is a heavy hitter and you can get about like a two hit kill on people, um, the issue with the hammer is you're playing a heavy class and the the good thing about the heavy is the fact that he has the LMG, right? He, he could have consistent damage from far away, which is also why I don't think you guys should use the flamethrower. Um, but by having this freaking sledgehammer, it's just so hard to even get close to people. You're going to... Oh, okay. Well, I got to reload in again. But while we're reloading in, even though you have the hammer and it's a high damage weapon you're gonna have issues closing in onto the actual enemy so i wouldn't recommend you guys use the sledgehammer i mean hell do whatever you guys want right but i'm just talking about being more effective in gunfights the lmg is the most effective gun for the heavy guy okay because the heavy class if you're using the flamethrower the flamethrower is nice because it's so distracting when you're using the flamethrower but the issue is that the flamethrower doesn't have any more than like I don't know, like t five meters, 10 meters, 10 feet, whatever you want to, however you want to measure it. But basically it's not that great. So even though it does the burn over time and 
I still say definitely use the LMG just because it's more versatile and you'll be able to actually hit people far away and help have consistent damage. So we, we loaded back in and the other thing I wanted to show you guys about the sledgehammer is the fact that I believe we could break through these walls compared to the other like uh, melee weapons. Even though it takes a freaking long time to do it, you do have the ability to break through these walls. Okay, um, the melee and the, the, the sword and the knife, you can only break through these windows, but that is like the other benefit of actually using this sledgehammer, I guess, is if you really want to just go and all out and destroy stuff, you go ahead and do that too. But I mean, if you switch over to your RPG, you could do that, right? Or if you want to switch over to your freaking C4s, just, just, just do that instead, right? So. The sledgehammer, I would definitely not recommend using. And then for the light class, you should use, I feel like you should use the dagger. So the reason why I want to say you should use the dagger is because it is a like two, four hit kill. This is, I think this is a medium here. But if, if we go to the light characters here, it's a three hit kill, right? Um, but the good thing about the knife is you have the ability to one shot. And also because they hit the hitbox re like registration or whatever it is, um, it's a little bit more consistent. And when you're able to get those picks off in like team fights, it's like a huge thing to be able to take one guy out of a team, especially because they're playing together and getting that one pick off. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, and then the thing about the sword, I haven't exactly played it yet because I haven't leveled up to the sword, but my issue with the sword is the fact that you just kind of have to spam away and I mean, maybe it will be a lot better in team fights because then, um, you're actually able to hit your, your like melees, but the really good thing about the knife is just the one shot headshots. So if you want more consistency, I say use the sword. Um, if you want to have that execution definitely use the knife the only issue with the knife is it's a little bit less inconsistent and then lastly the sledgehammer it's amazing if you want to like you know have that two shot ability on lights um and you want to be able to break through like walls and whatever but i mean for the heavy you have so many other equipment to do that i definitely wouldn't recommend doing it so i just want to talk about using the melees for the final uh, I'm, I know it's a closed beta and you guys, some of you guys don't get to use it or even play the game, but just so you guys know, that is kind of how the gameplay is for the final, uh, when it comes to the melees. So they, like I said before, they did buff it, buff the knife, at least it's a little bit more consistent with the melees. Uh, but that's about everything. Like the video if you guys learned something. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to see more. If not, it's fine. Peace.